Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So I started to work on my uh, shortboard and then I realized that uh, I haven't um, took any photos or videos of the process I'm about to do because this is the first time I'm going to try to experiment in this kind of lamination process. We are going to do a full carbon fiber um, surfboard. Okay, the, car, the carbon fiber is here and we are going to do vacuum technique. So over here I have a vacuum pump and I have um, the double-sided tape. I got my uh, vacuum bag over here, which I'm going to prepare now. Uh, breather, cloth, and uh, peel ply, everything I need. This is the first time I'm, I'm ever uh, going to attempt something like that. Uh, we're going to do it for this short board. Should be really, really sick. I mean, a full carbon fiber, uh, vacuum bagged surfboard should be super light, super strong, super responsive, very, very special uh, surfboard. Um, it is the first time I'm gonna vacuum anything, actually. It's the first time I'm gonna do this technique, so uh, let's hope for the best. I'm gonna prepare everything right now. I'm gonna prepare my vacuum bag in advance. Everything should be uh, tight and sealed. Um, need to prepare the breather cloth in advance, in advance, the peel ply as well. Once everything is ready, I'm going to, be, uh, once everything is ready, I'll be, um, we'll do a normal lamination with the fiberglass and in epoxy, uh, not fiberglass, carbon fiber and epoxy. After uh, epoxy is on the board, this board is gonna go into the vacuum bag and then we're gonna start uh, um, the vacuum process. Everything should be nice and tight. Uh, all the excess resin should be gone and uh, we should have a very, very nice lamination. Okay, uh, see you soon. So, I did the uh, dry testing. I just wanted to make sure that the whole system works fine, creating uh, the pressure I need, vacuum. Uh, everything looks good. I was able to get a very nice uh, vacuum here. And... This is without resin, just a test to check that the bag is uh, sealed and working fine. And now I'm gonna uh, take the board out. We're gonna laminate it with the carbon fiber and vacuum. Good luck.
Okay, so this is how it is until now. Now we need to start taking off the peel ply. Hopefully it's gonna go well. I can see a little bit of a problem here. Carbon fiber went over the peel ply. That's my bad. It should have been longer and over here. And now this is super strong and I need to see how I'm going to take it off without damaging the foam. I think we're just gonna send it a little bit now. And then we're gonna move on to the next, next step, which is taking off the peel ply. Okay, so it's going good so far. As you can see, the peel ply is coming right off. And now I'm gonna turn it around. We're gonna get to the exciting, exciting part. Wow, that looks amazing. It is so light, I can't even describe. I know it's only one side, it still hasn't got hot coated or anything. But this thing is amazing. Okay, so I decided to do a little bit of a testing here in this small area because as you can see, I didn't place the peel ply exactly flat out. So there is spaces that if I'll put my finger here, it's a little bit deeper. So this whole thing gonna have to be slightly sanded, um, just a little bit so I can get a, a smooth surface. So that's what I did here. Look at that, that looks so beautiful. Over here, this is the place I sanded, and here I didn't. And you can see a little bit of dents in the carbon. So I'm gonna let this cure. I'm gonna come back to that tomorrow. I'm gonna sand the whole surface down and then we're gonna laminate the top. And when I'm gonna do the top, I'm gonna make sure the peel ply is gonna sit exactly flat on the carbon fiber. But oh my God, look at that. I can see my reflection. This is so beautiful.